Hey guys, and welcome to The Family Fudge. I'm Jennifer, and on today's video, I'm gonna share with you my little girl's surprise bedroom makeover. It came out so cute, I can't wait for you to see it. During this video, I'm gonna share with you some of the before, what their room looked like before, tell you a little bit about what we did to change it, and then I'm gonna show you the big reveal, and we'll get to see what the girls think when they see it, so stay tuned. Okay guys, so before we get started, I just want to give a big thanks to the Lull Mattress Company for partnering with me on today's video. Now this bedroom makeover is honestly something that I've wanted to do for quite a while, but I've been putting it off because I have two girls that share this bedroom and it's a relatively small room. So I needed to be creative about where to store things, how to store things, and how to make it look cute as well. So it took me a while. So last weekend, my husband and I started on this project. First, we took all of the furniture out of the room, then took everything off the walls. Then my husband went ahead and patched all of the holes, and then we both took turns painting the walls. Now we painted the walls the exact same color that we already had, but it was really nice to have a fresh coat of paint. It made everything look clean and new. Once the paint was dry, we started reorganizing the room. The first thing we did was get rid of one of our broken dressers. So yes, that means both girls have to share one dresser, which I'm okay with because I'm trying to do this whole minimal wardrobe thing. Next, we spent a lot of time organizing the closet. Now, if you wanna know exactly how I'm organizing it, let me know in the comments down below and I'll make a separate video to show you how we organize the closet. But basically, we just put in a new bookshelf, some storage drawers, and my husband raised up the hanging rod in the closet as well. We're definitely utilizing the vertical space in this closet. Next, I spent a lot of time fixing up their bunk bed. Now, I picked up these bunk beds off of Craigslist so they were used, and they weren't in the best condition, although we got a really good deal. One of the things that I really wanted to do was remove all of the stickers and give it a good cleaning, but the stickers were tough. Here's how I got all of the stickers off. I took an old rag with a little bit of coconut oil and I rubbed all over the sticker area. Then I used my hair dryer on the high setting to go over the sticker areas for just about 10 to 20 seconds. This helped to melt that sticky residue, making it much easier to just peel right off. The mattresses from LOL were so convenient. All you have to do is order online and I'll ship it straight to your door. Next, it was time to beautify the space. I started with some DIY string art. Now, I have a separate video on this if you wanna check it out, but I think it was super easy and it came out really cute. I also created a bow holder. I took an old picture frame, removed the glass, and my husband helped me attach some chicken wire. Then I clipped all of our hair bows to the chicken wire. It keeps them all in one place and it looks really cute on the wall. Now that brings us to today. So far, the girls know that we painted their room. They've seen that. And they've seen the string art that I've made as well. And they know that they got some awesome new mattresses from Lull. They know all of that. but. They haven't seen my cute decorations and the new bedding and that sort of thing. So my husband took all of the kids to the park and while they're there, I'm gonna go ahead and put the finishing touches in the room. And then the girls get to see it for the first time.
Okay, girls, I'm finally done with your room. Are you ready to see it? Yeah! Now you yeah. guys will have to bear with me because it's now 6 p.m. and the light in their room is not the best. But we're gonna make, make it work, right? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Open the door. Wow! This, this is, is awesome! awesome. Whoa! Test him out. Look at it. It's a mermaid sequin pillow. I wonder what's on top of my bed. Wow! Is it cool? Yeah! It's time to eat! Oh my gosh! Mom, look at this one! Look at this one! I'm gonna... It's a, it's a sweet set! <laughs> a little cupcake! <laughs> Did you see what's on the shelves? No! Go see what's on the shelves! Wow! What book is this, Lily? Mine. Lily, what book is this? Did me long stocking. <laughs> Did you guys look behind the door? It's flowers in our backpacks. And my troll purse. <laughs> look at all your bows. my bows. And my bows. Yeah. Do we have enough bows? Yeah. Yeah. Those are too much for me. Too much for you? Okay, girls, it's time to test the mattress. See if it's nice and soft. How's your mattress? Good. Go try your pillows. Good. I'm trying each one. This one is better. And this one. And one good. This one. This one's oh, these. These ones are good, but not this one, because it's it's kind of like a toy. How's the mattress, Candy? It's so comfortable. And your pillows? Yeah, I have a mermaid sequin one too. You have so many pillows. Are you gonna make your bed now every day? Yes. Yes. Okay, friends, thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. I want to thank the Lowell Mattress Company for letting us review these mattresses today. If you have any questions about Lowell Mattresses, I'll leave a link down below so you can check them out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.